Another theory of ascent of self is physical force theory according to which the upward movement of water takes place through the xylem vessels which are dead cells. So the process is purely physical and there is no involvement of living cells in it. Various physical force theory have been proposed from time to time. They are capillary force theory, capillary force theory, second one is imbibition theory, imbibition theory, third one is atmospheric theory, atmospheric pressure theory, atmospheric pressure theory and the last one is cohesion tension theory cohesion tension theory first of all we shall discuss about capillary force theory which was proposed by Bohem in 1809 in 1809 According to capillary force theory, ascent of shape takes place due to the capillary force that exists in the xylem vessels. Bohem compared xylem vessels with capillary tube. He suggested that the normal atmospheric pressure and the capillarity of the xylem vessels are responsible for this upward movement of water during the upward movement of water two different forces operate in the xylem vessel one is the adhesive force that exists between water molecule and the wall of the vessel and the other is the cohesive force that operate among water molecules because of these two different forces water is pulled up through the xylem vessel and this process will continue till the cohesive force and adhesive force are balanced by gravity. Limitations of capillary force theory. The capillary force that exists in xylem vessel is very small which can lift water up to a height of 1 meter or so which is not enough for trees. But this force can move water up in small sized plants. Another limitation is the xylem vessels are not directly connected with the soil water. Because of these limitations, finally the capillary force theory was discarded. Next physical force theory is imbibition theory which was proposed by Sachs in 1848 according to this theory water is imbibed through the cell wall material which is then translocated in the upward direction this theory was also discarded because ascent of shape takes place through the lumen of xylem vessels not through the cell wall Next, we shall discuss about another physical force theory known as atmospheric pressure theory according to which it is the atmospheric pressure which is responsible for the upward movement of water. Due to active transpiration, a vacuum is created in the xylem vessels. To fill that vacuum, water moves upward from below in order to equalize the pressure. So according to atmospheric pressure theory, the upward movement of water takes place due to the influence of the atmospheric pressure. It has been observed that the atmospheric pressure can lift water up to a height of 10 meters, but its operation depends on the presence of a free surface at the base which do not exist in plant. So this theory was not widely accepted.